Good afternoon, everyone. A letter on an emotional level expresses the spaces of the innermost self with sustained resonance, evoking joys and sorrows. From time to time, we have been losing touch of pen and paper, and also pen on paper. Pick up a pen, let the ink flow on the postcard which means Jatan Bala. For a letter writing tour to your most loved ones, with some select letters too. Please give them a hand.
And do you think that uh, you are going to leave those letters to your children? Yeah, sure. I have to leave them for my children. Yes, madam. Uh, what about you? Yeah, madam. Yeah. Huh, Actually, please. it was not a love letter, but my best friend she shifted from one place to other suburbs, so we kind of exchanged letters during that time, school days. All right. Uh, someone from here? Yes, you. Yeah, I've written love letters to Absolutely perfect. I think we should have a, a round of applause for us. Because love letters, we should not define the boundaries of love letters with only the opposite gender. We can write letters to anyone who we love, who we respect, whose company and whose presence that we cherish. Next we move is parent advice. If I can recollect, the best piece of advice any parent can ever give is through a letter. The 16th President of United States of America, Abraham Lincoln, he wrote a beautiful letter to his son's teacher. And I guess that was also in uh, the syllabus of Gujarat board, standard 6 or 7. Uh, some of my uh, fellow teachers um, might be aware about the letter. It was a letter which was not only addressed to the son, it was addressed to each and every child of the nation. So the best way to give parental advice, I would request the parents or the teachers that if you want to give a token of advice to someone, especially your kids and students, <coughs> letters are the best ways to express yourself. Next would be for moralizing. If you want to give some moral to people, I guess morals for Emma, after letters may include condition question. Now, in, this is the main part of my talk, how I got interested in writing a letter. There is a wonderful story which is associated with myself. Back in the year 2012, <coughs> uh, one of my students called Kurush, uh, he came down to my class and uh, he started his coaching under my training for creative writing. I was not ready to accept the fees of the student and so his parent wrote a beautiful letter to me uh, guiding me that uh, you are a teacher, you are doing your job and now it's my duty as a parent to nurture my child, to cultivate my child as a teacher. So he wrote a letter to me. Had he not written a letter to me, I would have never, 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 ever would have written so many letters to my friends, to my teachers, to my students. What was that incident? It was the year 2012. I began writing letters. Now, uh, since then, I have started uh, a sort of habit to write letters regularly. When a student, a student's birthday falls, I write a letter, an e-letter ma, student ni koi mistakes thati hoi, koi ni sali was to hoi, koi ni glorify karwa jai babat hoi, something which is very personal to the student, I write in the form of five inches by seven inches in length letter. Then I make it personalized. I don't type the letter. I write it with my own handwriting and I enjoy the curves and the swirls and the flat lines and the and the curliness of the Y and the curliness of the J and the full stops and the commas and the punctuations. So instead of typing the letter, I would recommend that you please personalize the letter with your own handwriting. In that sense, you will also write something because uh, the art of penmanship has been going away from our lives. If I ask you to write, I'm sure that... Letters on both days and something to communicate. You, if you are a teacher or if you are a parent, try once to communicate something through letter and let's see the result of the person to whom you have addressed the letter. Believe me, I have found great change in a person's behavior after he or she has received a letter which was made personalized by my own handwriting, by my own signature, and by putting up the date. Uh, letters, after them, it took a communication matter of great medium chair. I lost my grandmother in the year 2008. I was down in bitches in great sorrow, I wondered that what is the point of living life after I lost my grandmother. So one of my very dear friends, 
uh, he made a very personalized expression of his feelings and he wrote a long, long letter to me, uh, so something in four or five pages in his own handwritings. Until now, after ten years, eight, ten years, when I open my cupboard and I read the letters, I can go back to the past moment. I can absolutely vision the way my grandmother lived, the way I cherished the moments with her, the way uh, she showed love towards me, the way she acquired forgetfulness for people, all the things my friend had beautifully put down in the form of letter, and I still cherish the letters whenever I want to see <coughs> an emotional ventilation in myself. Uh, there are many students here, so I think 15 of them from, uh, from my side, who have written some very personal letters to me. They have their own problems in life, they have their own traffic jam of emotions inside, and they have communicated the same in one way or the other through the form of letter. So in my bedroom, I have made a very special place, a very special place dedicated to the collection of letters over the years people have written to me. So in those lovely Sunday afternoons, when you've got nothing to do, uh, some philosopher had, had put the term as the joy of doing nothingness in your loneliness. So you open up your cupboard on the left side is a pile of beautifully written letters some of them because of aging, uh, the, the ink had smeared, the handwritings might might be in a dancing mode, the paper would have been would have almost acquired the nature of tissue paper, but still the emotions are still present with me uh, by the people who have written many, many years back. So this is the the, the moment I cherish sometime somewhere in on, on Sunday afternoons. And the e-letters ni Sometimes I used to receive birthday cards, which nobody buys birthday cards. Nobody uh, writes letters on someone's death. But that was not the thing 25 years back. If someone dies near our house or in our relation, we would write a letter of our soul, condolence letters. And that is the reason why I, I wish and I wish that the state government and the central board would keep letter writing as an art in the English syllabus. Uh, I have wrote one thing about letters. Letter writing is a vintage meditative art of written poetry. It's a way of saying things, but the medium is in the form of writing. Just now, my medium is in the form of my vocals. You are getting my auditory notes, my intonations, my my uh, going up and down of the uh, syllabus, etc. But this art is, I consider this art as meditative art. It's a slow way of expressing things. Say, for example, if I meet this uh, gentle lady, if she reacts me, then I have to react her within a fraction of a second. But if I have to give the same reaction through the letters, I may have time to meditate. I may have time to collect my thoughts. I may have time to choose the best of the best words that I know. I can structure, restructure my sentences in the way I want, but that is not possible when you speak. Because when you speak, you don't have retakes. Once the words are spoken, they are no longer under your control. But in letter writing, the way you express, the way you redraft uh, your manuscripts, it's all possible in this beautiful meditative art. I call it a meditation. I've decided that uh, every year, I would write 100 letters to the people who know me. And that's for sure that I, I would write and I have started and by and large I have been successful in writing letters. So it's a slow way of communication or rather we can say slowest way of communication. Uh, deaf and dumb people can communicate faster than letters. Those people who have impairment still could be communicated faster than letters. It solves when one cannot be direct. Get to act was to ama kewa mai mi chair. Chair of Manakam Nakaibat Kevi chair, I don't have heart to say out of respect, out of love, but in letter it is possible. Say, for example, in my home I have personal problems with my father and my mother. My father has uh, hurt my self respect, my mom has hurt my self respect. I do not have courage to stand in front of my father and say, 
Papa, what you are doing is wrong. I cannot say and I must not say. So it's through letters I would communicate. Father, if you had considered my emotions, I would have loved uh, the way you talked, the way you communicated your message. So it's through letters you can make your point stronger. Do you know who holds the record of writing more letters? Up to my knowledge, the great man of India, Mahatma Gandhiji holds the record of writing letters. He had written 31,000 letters in his life. 31,000 letters were written by the great Mahatma Gandhiji. I challenge and I bet you, none of you can beat his record of 31,000 letters. And those letters are not silly stupid notes. They were genuinely uplifting, moving pieces of literature. The second man comes, the great Jawaharlal Nehru. In the prison, he was in the prison moralizing his dear child Indira Gandhi. When Indira Gandhi was nine years of age, many girls are, she, she was deprived of the fatherly care. She was deprived of parental uh, guidance. So what Mr. Nehru did was, he was in the jail, he was reading, he was exploring the world from the jail in the year 1913. He spent at least eight to 10 years in the jail. And from jail, what he did? He wrote letters. All beautifully. So the adversity <coughs> was turned into opportunity by the medium of writing letters. Many girls, many women complain that we are lonely in the house. Uh, we are not permitted to go outside. But in by remaining in the house, you can explore the world if you know how to do it. It would be worthy to remember Emily Dickinson. Uh, she was considered to be the notable female write, female poets ever America has produced. She got up in the morning. She was not allowed to go outside her garden, outside her house. She moved in the garden, lush green grass, lush green trees, beautiful butterflies, chirping of the birds. She came down to the bedroom. She sat on a table and a chair. And on the same table and chair, she wrote 1,800 poems. So we always uh, say about our insecurities and uh, denial of going out. But that's uh, the story for the other day. It gives ample time to contemplate that we have already taken a sense of personal touch. I have already told that do write letters through your own handwriting. In a sense, we should give time to uh, improve your penmanship as well. And by penmanship, we love to write uh, cursive handwritings. Many schools again who stress on cursive handwriting. I am the person who is against the usage of tablets and iPads in the classroom, students should know how to learn in beautiful way. A letter bridges the two souls. De Atmano Bridge, it's a bridge between two souls. It offers a tunnel back in time that we have already discussed, we can go back in the past. Alright, this is a sample of world's shortest letter. Uh, is anyone an English teacher here? English teacher? Madam, have you heard of uh, the great masterpiece called Les Miserables in French or La Miserable in English? Who has heard? Have you heard? I, I think in PDPU, uh, Shivani was mentioning that you have got a literature course in PDPU. Okay. So, there was a great writer called Victor Hugo. Victor Hugo wrote a beautiful book called Les Miserables in French or La Miserable. I don't know how to pronounce, but it's something like that. Le Mizrafa. He holds the record of the world's longest sentence. 852 words without, before a full stop. Longest sentence ever written in the history of English language. Or in the history of language. Let's put it that way. So, he was very inquisitive about how his books were being sold in the market. He did not have access to WhatsApp, he did not have access to Facebook, he did not have access to the telephone. So he wrote a letter to his publisher. He wrote, dear publisher, question mark, yours faithfully, Victor Hugo. The publisher and the bookseller, bookbinder was also very wise that Mr. Victor Hugo is something talking about the sales of his book with a question mark. He replied by saying, Dear Mr. Hugo, exclamation mark, your publisher, with an answer. That means 
जब मैं प्रश्न पूछो जो, I exclaim that you are asking such a question. You are great writer. You don't have to ask about the sales of the book. This is my reply to you with an exclamation mark. This is world's shortest letter ever written in the history of uh, uh, writing. Victor Hugo said, "Koi to me puchha hai ki kya world's shortest letter? Please take this as a sample. La miserable. Victor Hugo to his publisher with a question mark. His publisher to Victor Hugo with an exclamation mark. Right?" <coughs> Albert Einstein. Everybody knows about the great Einstein. Yes. But you don't know few facts, unseen corners of Mr. Einstein. Uh, he was not happy with his married life. Uh, he was a great biker. He was a great violin player. He was a great writer, and he was also asked to be the vice chancellor of one of the universities of his nation. So Albert Einstein's Son's name was also Albert. In a dikra na par Albert hoto. So in a in a dikra ne ek kaagal likho. He wrote a beautiful letter to his son. He letter apne I think what is it? Apne thoda ki activity karish. Are you all set for the activity? Yes. How many of you in the class have written postcards? One, two, three, four, five. Please don't lie. Only ten people out of you have written postcard. You have written postcard. Okay. So, what can I tell you? Can I tell you nothing? How many of you in your life have never ever written a letter? People are watching here and there. Please, you first raise your hand, then I will raise my hand. Who has written a letter? 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 Who has written a letter?
Hello, boys and girls. This is the rear end of the postcard. This is the front side of the postcard. You have to write like this. Enjoy the privilege. Shiva, they will write a letter today. To, or I don't know. Letter. Alright, so I'm Sidhu, postcard property, and then you don't have to write your address or anything to my dear Jepadoi, my brother, my sister, my friend, dad, mom, principal, mayor, criminal, <laughs> mayor, criminal <laughs> Mark Bagandi ji, uh, Uma Shankar Yadav sir, Minu Jastanwala, anyone. Alright, you will be given 10 minutes time, make sure you do not make any mistakes, because the letter what you are going to write, would be handed over to the person you love the most. And we would allow you if you do not want to declare the person who is addressed. So your time starts now. Pen Oh, uh, can you give pen to your pen? Straight, thank you. because he belongs to Ahmedabad. Um, it has been a year and I am still waiting just for a call by your side. It seems you don't remember my name also, but it's more important that my memories, little memories, which I gave you will work that much for you to remember or rather miss me at least once in a day. It was your mistake to misunderstand the things between us. Maybe I am not the one you, to whom you will talk or else I don't come in that criteria to become your friend, but you will be in my heart as my friend till my last breath. And the things which didn't work for us will work for some other friends and of friends sometimes. I know that this letter might not reach you, but still I want to say that sometimes rather than a relationship, you need a friend to get 
mad with, to share sorrows with, to drink a cup of coffee, and to talk whatever your mind says. I didn't have any love feelings towards you, but yes, I miss a friend like you till, till date. Thank you. Sorry? Yes, yes, letter will you be ready next. Uh, is it not readable letter? <laughs> Please start. Uh, to the, uh, this letter I give to my parents. Uh, my parents are now my first God. They taught me to walk, talk, read and write. Today I am God because of my parents. Uh, today I have this lovely feelings for them because they have done many things for me. I love my parents the most. My parents are the one which I can share my good and bad feelings. And I thank God for giving me such a good parents. You are loving Hita. Okay, Hita, you know what is one simple problem in your letter? It has to be addressed to your parents, so instead of they, you have to write you. You are the best people, you are the best parents. Otherwise, they, the uh, third person or letter, okay. letters are always written in second person. Alright? Be careful next time. All the best. Yes, young man, are we to finish? It has been a great journey to come here and be the speaker for the uh, workshop, The Art of Letter Writing. I am thankful to you, Mr. Umaji, for giving me this opportunity. I am thankful to you the, as the audience. And uh, with this note, we don't depart, but we just say goodbye. Mr. promise to meet you next time. Yours faithfully, Meenu Jasdurmala.